Hi there, I'm Andrew, you're watching That Gamer Ajax, and this is going to be a celebratory episode. So recently I broke 100 subscribers here on YouTube and I'm so, so incredibly uh, thankful for that. All of your support has really meant a lot. So in order to celebrate this, I hosted an AMA on Twitter and if you're not following me on Twitter, you probably should. That's where I post a lot of updates regarding the channel and just kind of all of my tabletop thoughts. But uh, these were some of the questions that I got and uh, I have to say I'm very, very thankful for everybody that did submit questions. So let's go ahead and dive right on into this, shall we? So first question actually came from a, uh, a DM from my buddy Zach, who runs the Scheduled for Launch podcast. I've done a couple of projects with him, uh, just overall, overall good guy. Uh, but he wanted to know, uh, how did I choose my name? So uh, I have this kind of default username that I've been using for years at this point, and I still wanted to be able to kind of implement uh, parts of that. But along with that, people would always, like rather than typing the whole thing out, they would just say Ajax. This is usually when it comes to all of my gaming stuff. So I kind of adopted that moniker as a whole. And it, originally the plan with this channel was that I was gonna be focusing on both tabletop and video games. So that gamer Ajax just kind of made sense to me as a whole. So since I've shifted direction to focusing specifically on tabletop, I, I, I just like the name. Honestly, I uh, hope that answers the question, Zach. So the next question that I have comes from D20 Tales. Thank you so much for submitting the question. Uh, and this seems like it's actually a little bit of a two-parter. Uh, what is one thing you would do differently if you kept all of your existing knowledge in, of growing within the space, but had all the time in the world to do it right a second time? So this one is a little tricky because I'm still, I, I still consider myself a pretty small uh, channel and a small tabletop presence as a whole. Um, but I think a few things that I would do differently would be one, focus on kind of growing who I am uh, in the community a little bit more there rather than launching the channel and then trying to get started, uh, particularly on Twitter, which is one of the places where I'm the most active. Uh, I think that being able to see kind of what people were doing and what is working for other people and then just like letting people know that who i am as a person with you know thoughts and opinions um i think that would be one thing that i would easily do would just be you know get to know my audience and, and become a part of the community rather than having a product first um, when it comes to videos i think that a few things that i would really like to have if i could go back and start again uh, I, I would probably invest in a little bit more equipment. Uh, I mean, even just this little microphone that uh, my partner got me as a gift uh, has been incredibly helpful. I think that I've noticed an overall increase in my quality by doing that. And I mean, honestly, I, I shoot this whole thing on an iPhone. Um, so if I could have a camera uh, to be able to film, I think that that would probably help quite a bit more. And I think that I would probably make a little bit more in-depth videos. Um, I like providing educational content, particularly in the tabletop space as a whole, but I think that going a little bit more in depth and not so basic, at least starting out uh, when it came to my Dungeons and Dragons guides, I think that that would probably be overall relatively beneficial. Next question I got is from Leary RP. Uh, what inspires you to be a GM or want to GM? Um, and then a uh, the second question along with this is what aspect of GMing do I love and what aspects of GMing do I dislike? Um, so the funny thing about this is that I started being a, a dungeon master and a game master because I had just moved across the country and I was part of a group that I absolutely loved playing for, but I had some friends that wanted to try the, the game out and well, they didn't know how to play, they didn't know how to, to lead everything and that was kind of like really what got me into being a game master and I found out that I had a lot of fun doing it. Uh, I just really like being able to tell stories um, and especially because I am playing a lot more than just Dungeons and Dragons now. You know, I play Veil of Void, I play Emberwind, I'm branching out into cyberpunk and starting to like look into little bit more obscure systems. Uh, it's just the fact that I'm willing to put in the work when it comes to learning these systems so I can teach these systems. I really like being able to teach people. Um, it is a lot of fun for me. Uh, in terms of aspects that I like, it's just the fact that I can kind of take whatever's in my head and then make it into a reality for a tabletop table. Um, that is an absolute blast for me. What do I dislike the most about it? Uh, prepping. <laughs> um, that is the easiest way to describe it. Um, I, I'm a little bit more of an improv-based uh, game master. I, I like to keep notes. Um, I think the document that I have for a long-running Veil of the Void campaign is approaching 60 pages or so. 
uh, but that has been built up over a couple of years. Um, largely, I can just put down a couple of paragraphs and then I can just run with it from there. Um, I don't really like doing uh, really in-depth like combat prep necessarily. I'm not good at map making. It's something that I want to be better at, but it is a time sink and it is learning a new skill. So I think those are some of the things that I both like and dislike about being a game master. Okay, and the last set of questions that I have is from Souls Rolls. If you're not following Souls Rolls on Twitter, you should absolutely do so. He is just an absolute uh, treasure for the community, in my opinion. So, how did I get started? Um, well, I got started with Tabletop Games because a roommate of mine, when I was in college, uh, got very, very interested in Critical Role after he, he heard about it on Twitch. He started watching it, got very interested. Uh, wanted to play D&D, found out that I also wanted to play D&D, so he went out and bought the starter set and we started playing through The Lost Mine of Phandelver. Um, relatively simple and very tame uh, origin story for playing tabletop games because it's something I didn't do when I was a kid and actually I'm kind of glad that I waited until I was in college uh, just because I was already kind of insufferable as a uh, as a teenager when it came to my fantasy and sci-fi stuff and I think if I was playing tabletop games it would have been so much worse. Um, but I fell in love with it after our first session. It was just absolute blast. How did I get started uh, here on YouTube and Twitter? Well, that is actually just because it was something I have wanted to do for quite a while. Uh, Twitter, I felt was kind of more of a necessity because I wanted to be able to talk about my channel. Um, and again, as I mentioned earlier, I should have done that vice versa. Um, but I have wanted to do uh, YouTube stuff for, for quite some time. I think that I, I want to be able to teach people, especially when it comes to tabletop, which is like my new like main activity, my main hobby that I've been doing for the last couple of years. Uh, and I think this is a very easy way to do it. And I really just wanted to learn uh, a couple of new skills, particularly when it came to shooting with video and trying to video edit. Uh, what has been the biggest challenge? I think that overall growth and trying to find the tone of voice uh, that I want for my social media presence and my video uh, quality as a whole. Um, I do wish that I had some better equipment. I had wish I had a little bit more knowledge on what I was doing in terms of video editing just because I, I mean if you watch my videos I do a very basic uh, editing style and I am planning on taking some classes that way I can learn how to do this a little bit more. Uh, what do I wish that I had known earlier? Um, just that this takes quite a bit of time and that I wish that I would have stocked up on more videos before I launched the channel. I wish that I would have interacted with a lot more people and just tried to get a better sense of what I wanted to do. I feel like, especially early on my first couple of months, that I was just kind of flailing and that it was uh, it was a little bit difficult getting started. Um, I need to still be patient when it comes to growth. Uh, you know, we're, we're here at the 105 subscribers at the time of recording this video and I'm really hoping that I can start growing that. But at the same time, I just want to be able to put out content that people enjoy and hopefully they can learn a thing or two. And last question from Souls Rolls is uh, best pizza. Uh, this one might be a little bit controversial, but my personal favorite pizza is doing a uh, New York style pizza with cheese, pepperoni, pineapple, and jalapeno. And the reason for that is very simple. You get a combination of sweet and salty, and then you have spicy, and the sweet kind of counteracts the, the spice a little bit. So you get a whole bunch of different flavors going on at the same time. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to post a very brief uh, celebration. And hopefully this was letting you know a little bit more about who I am just kind of as a person. I really, really appreciate the fact that so many of you have come to support me and that there's more than 100 of you watching the channel now. I think that it has been a lot of fun getting here. I mean, there have definitely been some struggles in every now and then, but uh, we can only go up from here, right? So that's gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. Uh, if you enjoyed the answers, give it that thumbs up. If you have a couple of more questions that you'd like to ask, feel free to write those out in the comments below and I'll make sure to answer them. But uh, until next time, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.